Alright, so I'm going to bother and to finally bother to make the tutorial for the auto charter. But first of all, what I'm going to go is when you download the auto charter, you're going to get the JH chart tool, which is the software. And what will be there is well, there's already eight means I'm I got ready for this, so it doesn't really matter. So you have only the setting, the chart tool, and the chart.txt file. I believe I included. Uh, yeah, that's the alt tree files that should be in the folder. I can't even make sure of that. Change chart two, because I remember I remember adding one file. Yeah, no, those are all tree files. Good. Everything else is useless. So there are a few things. This is the setting. You can change the setting using the software, which I, is what I recommend because of how picky it is. So the settings, the main settings are the charting method, which you should always leave to one track unless you know what you're doing. And and I don't know how, how the other methods work. So don't even bother unless you you figure out. If you do figure out how it works, the other methods the other methods work, then then tell me please. I'm curious. So chunning stuff are of course yes. The cooldown is I believe the amount of measures before the next stop hour phrase, but it I'm pretty sure it's a different thing. So I left it to five. Chart section will put sections every eight measures. You can change the number. I leave it to eight because it's fine. Long note min minimum length. This is so you don't end up with fresh, fresh on fire charts where every single notes are very, very small sometimes. I leave it to 128. It's the default setting. And there's two MIDI format, the FL Studio. And the other one, Jesus Christ, that's my setting. On the chart, setting is Tux Git Guitar, which is what you should use for just about every MIDI you'll find online that work because not every MIDI works unfortunately but the, the ones I have are FL Studio MIDI so I'm gonna keep them so how it works is so those are MIDI I got from FL Studio if you need help with FL Studio I can actually show real quick how to get one let's open a random one dude fuck off fuck off first you have your song Blah, blah 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 you got the tool macro macros and then prepare for midi export yes and then you can export midi file you leave the name and everything save and then you check the split mixer tracks that it will not be on by default i had some issues until i with certain charts until i did that and now they all work fine but I don't need to do that. And don't save. You don't want to keep that as a MIDI. So now I don't need this part anymore. Let's go with the first step. First step, you need to go to this website. Jesus Christ, so only 45. Anyway, I'm going to leave all the links in the description. So the first one is the binary MIDI to text file online. You click chose file. You want which one? I'm gonna go with the very broken file, which is seven. It's very broken. No, I'm gonna go with eight. At least eight works. I've test all. Of, I've got all of them. That's what I'm up uploading right now, actually. So let's go with number eight. Absolute sand. Then you get this whole beautiful thing, and you just copy and paste the whole thing. Literally, Control A and Control C. It doesn't matter. Then you open the chart.txt and you replace everything. Save. And that's the first step. Now the second step, you open the charting software. Why is the resolution so broken? It used to be bare. I've tried to fucking display scaling a high dp bullshit. It doesn't work. Anyway, you press number one to, to select auto charter. Uh huh. Fuck off, GeForce. Reforce. I don't want shadow play shit going right now. Anyway, there are several settings. Auto chart, mirror chart, shuffle, over charter. The shuffle and the over chart are not working. They are they 
there were future features that were never added to the software because the guy decided to quit. So the only one that works are other chart and Myra mod. But Myra mod is literally you put the name of the chart and it's done. It's a single step. So other chart it is. Ahem. Thank you. What is the name of the file? Now you say just chart. You don't add the, the txt. Just chart. Now what is the track you want? In this specific MIDI there's only one track which is great. So you press 1 and this is... there we go. And now you have the chart file. The chart file has sections, BPM, everything, notes. It doesn't have a name or everything. I made this little file. You can make one yourself just by picking a random chart file and you could just remove that. So I can copy and then I can open this. Whoops. Just control V. It's not the right information, but it'll adjust that later. And now, step two. Whoops. Feedback. That's a pretty important step for many reasons, because in general, you get a bunch of tracks, depending on the MIDI. The more, the worse it is, because more tracks means it's, first of all, you need to figure out which one is the one you want, and if it's a complex music it will have several guitar tracks etc then you need to export all of them one by one. Oh, and it is very important every single if you have a music with several tracks you have to go there type your chart blah 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 select you and then crash of course because I type random shit and then you have to close the program and then reopen it for every track otherwise it will always extract the same one it's a little glitch but it takes two seconds to restart the software Anyway, let's go back to the feedback part. Feedback is very important because one, what? I need to actually put the file there. That would be useful. New, new. I'm gonna call it new. All right, shard. Load new chart. I don't have the audio right now. And now you can see it's very broken sometimes. That's why I picked this one, because it's a meme. So you can make sure that first of all, you pick the right chart, that everything is right. If you, ha it's a multi-track chart and you have to manually copy and paste everything, then have fun. That's what I did with many charts. It sucks. Anyway, you only have to open it and feedback to see if everything is fine. In general, it will be fine. Sometimes the BPM will be wrong. Like, it won't be wrong, but it, the snapping will be wrong. Like, it will say 120 BPM when it's 60 on really slow songs. But it's nothing otherwise. So yeah, you, you have your chart. That's literally it. If I show you a slightly more complex chart, like, um, which one should I show? Just real quick, showing it. A more complex one. Uh, what did I put the? I'm blind. There we go. Uh, a complex one. I think it's the sixth one. What is one? I'll try the sixth one. Oh yeah. This. I have another link that can be useful when the song has many tracks with no names, which is online sequencer. I use it when I make the Dragon Force MIDI charts and I'm going to get the another one soon. It's cool, Cold Winter Moonlight or whatever. Black Winter Night, nice fucking name, which has like 15 tracks. But yeah, you can open it MIDI there. When it has many tracks with no names, if it has a name, then it's useless because you're gonna see the names in this in the program. But like in this one, you can see there's all those tracks. All of them are empty. They are not empty, but they are useless. The tree one that we use is the Nexus one and Nexus tree. So when you go there and you pick song six, Control C. Chart Control V, and you open the JH Chart tool, 
what you have to do is you tap chart and then you see that's what I mean there's all of them you only want the first one now you have the first chart renamed to first I already have one with the rename and then you close it and then you reopen the ship or the chart chart and the third one those are the two you want now feedback just show real quick feedback Uh, if sh I should probably get the other files since, since this one is number six. Um, pretty sharp with the chart there. Oops. Just to show what I mean. Hmm. I can see. When I made this chart, I had to split out two charts because you can easily make co-op charts. I need I need to add that. I made a co-op Dragon Force chart chart like it was nothing. It was really easy to make. Just because it had many tracks. And it's the same with pretty much everything. Honestly, I would not recommend this if you want to make a serious chart, but if you have access to a MIDI file of a song, go ahead, You, because what you're gonna get is the BPM change, everything, all this, you get all the BPM, the time signature, etc. And the note placement. And then you can just adjust everything to your life, to what you want. Add more notes if you think it's wrong, etc. Just whatever. whatever. Yeah, this is how it works. And another useful link, if you get a MIDI file, like a real MIDI, like MIDI Force, which is literally MIDI audio with and everything, you can use website like, such as this terrible one to convert the MIDI to a NoGG file. But there's plenty of other options. And the last link, this one, I've tried few of them, not all of them work. I'm not sure why yet. I think it's something with the complexity of the MIDI file. Some of them really don't cooperate at all, they just freeze. But few of them work, which includes the Black Winter Night 1 that I'm gonna do. And I think Prepare for War also works. I'm not sure. I need to I think I tried it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is my very crappy tutorial. Kappa.